Hey, it's Andrew here from Home Theatre Engineering. I'm here for a video calibration and the client has a projector where he's just changed the globe. Obviously it's very echo in here. So we're going to go inside and have a look, find out why he seems to be having trouble, take a reading of the image and then we can decide if everything's okay we'll go ahead with the calibration and if not then we're going to have to work out what the problem is and get the projector or the lamp fixed. So uh, let's move into the theatre. Right, let's get set up. We're going to check out what's going on. The lamp was changed about 50 hours ago, so it should be ready for a calibration, but the client thinks that there's a problem with the amount of light on the screen. So we'll get the equipment set up, we'll measure that, we'll find out what's going on, and then if all's good, we'll continue with the calibration. If not, then we're going to have to work out what the problem is, whether it's the projector or the lamp or something else. Let's get set up. So this is the sensor, this is the Spectrical C6 2000, so this is good for up to 2000 nits and um, that means that we can do all the HDR work for it. Um, we're currently the only people in Western Australia running these sensors and uh, we have more advanced sensors as well but this is certainly good for this job and here we're running the Spectrical Video Forge Pro which is one of the latest state-of-the-art signal generators which gives me all 4K UHD HDR capabilities as well. The other thing is we're running Spectrical Cowman, the latest version of that, all licensed and registered and up to date. So we've got all of the new Gamma or EOTFs running in that. So we're good to go, we've got all the right equipment, we've invested heavily in that and um, that means great results for the clients. I've uh, just got to get this set up and we'll, uh, we'll be ready to roll. Right, well this is always a good look. Um, the uh, signal generator has generated a nice test pattern on the screen. We've got everything powered up, everything seems to be working. It's now connected to the system, uh, so we have to dim the lights. You're not going to see so much, I'm afraid. Um, and it's time to get into the calibration itself. So let's see what we can see. I'm afraid the picture's probably going to go a little bit grainy, um, because obviously we don't have a lot of light going whilst we're doing the calibration but I'll put the camera on the screen and you can sort of see what's going on. Obviously we're not going to give you the customer's details, um, but yeah, uh, we'll go from there. Right, so that view there hopefully will give you uh, some view of the working screen and um, you can see a little bit about what's going on out there. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that everything's connected that looks okay. We're just going to connect our source, find source. Great. So I'm just making sure that all the settings are correct. Everything seems to be okay. and we're on our way. Okay. Just going to take a quick reading. Lights to go off. So, not sure what you can see now. Um, it's going to be pretty dim in here. Um, but this will give you an idea of what goes on during a video calibration. Uh, so we've got a lot of expensive equipment here and we're just going to tell it to read series and we'll have a look at what's going on. I've just got to reduce the light on here because we don't want this affecting our readings. So sorry about this folks. The first readings take quite some time because when there's black it's hard for the meter to, to find data to read. Ah, 
Okay, so the gamma curve isn't too bad. Uh, it's looking pretty good. We'll just have a look at the accuracy of this unit. Okay, so this one is as found. All right, so we can take more readings later on. We'll have a look at the projector and see what settings he's running there, but I wanted to get a reading exactly as it was when I arrived on site. So that's probably why it's looking a little bit dull. Gamma's 2.5. Um, in a room like this, 2.4 probably ideal, but if he wants a bit of snap, we can probably even push it across to 2.4. Right, so again, another reading here. I'm really doing this at the moment because there's another screen that I want to get to. I want to see how many nits of light are landing on the screen. Okay, this is the one I want. Twelve point eight foot Lamberts. Okay, it's not a lot. Um, in fact, it's it's really below anything that we would want. So now we're going to have a look and find out what's going on and see if we can work out that. And for that, we need the projector remote control. Well, you can't see on the screen, unfortunately, folks. Is what I'm doing here with the um, menu at the top. So here's the end result. It's a bit hard to see, of course. You know, you're filming a f uh, with a camera, but um, this uh, this projector was really struggling. Um, and uh, it was really terrible. Color temperature was way out. The, the grayscale was shot. Um, the um, primary and secondary colors were also pretty bad. So uh, we've also increased the light output by 50% as well. So we've got uh, more dynamic range on the screen. Pretty happy outcome uh, overall. So uh, there you go. Um, yeah, I, I wish it sort of represented a little bit better on the, uh, on the camera. Um, but uh, suffice to say, it's massively different to the way it was when we first got here. This, folks, um, apart from the spooky look on my face, this, folks, is the advantage of calibration. This is what it's all about, getting massive results from your, your uh, existing system. All right, I haven't added any hardware here. I've just got the settings right. But I need a computer and a sensor and all the tools to do that. Um, but the customer is absolutely stoked. So there you go, folks. Uh, thanks for joining uh, us at Home Theatre Engineering with uh, another sort of insightful video on, on what calibration is all about. We'll talk to you soon.